everyone and welcome to my channel this video tutorial is to demonstrate one of the important activity type which is wbs summary so let's see what is wbs summary wbs summary is activity type used to assign costs or resources associated with a particular work package or deliverable to a works of, to, to, to the wbs summary level and it is spanned over the whole duration of that work wbs and it the one thing most important is that this wbs summary activity don't have any relationship so this is a technique we are using in top down estimation where we have the value of the cost of the deliverable but we don't have the breakdown for example we have like uh, installation of elevator installation of the garbage chute normally this type of activities or uh, items in the boq have a single line a single line uh, act, items without further breakdown but when we are inserting this uh, uh, item in our uh, the primary program normally they are consists of several activities so in this case in me have that we have it is a sort of top down elevator that we have the final value of the pro product or uh, or deliverable but we don't have that breakdown so to overcome this issue wbs uh, primera provide us a very good excellent tool which is wbs summary let's see what we can do for this wbs summary and how can we assign so first we need to assign wbs uh, to uh, to uh, start with wbs summary activity we need to uh, uh, to assign a single uh, to a activity as normal normal way and then we go in the general tab and change the activity type from task dependent to the summary level and once we make this one Mm, once we make this select this wbs summary we go in for to change for additional changes we go to project eps and go in calculation tab calculation tab in the calculation tab we assign one dollar per hour for the activities without resources and we select act, subsect actual from at completion and recalculate actual units and cost when duration percentage complete changes we make sure that both these are selected and we make sure that the uh, one dollar per hour we assign for activities without resources once we have made these changes we are going to assign the costs to our wbs uh, activity and we are updating as normal so this is our the program as a, so it's a simple program with few activities and you can see that all the activities related to cost are assigned with the uh, with the BOQ cost but elevator installation we don't have any breakup and we cannot assign the cost of elevator installation to the this WBS level because we to, to overcome this issue we are using WBS activity so once we add the WBS activity here the this WBS activity cost and resources will transfer from this um, WBS summary activity to this WBS level. So let's start in the project itself. Now we open the program, a simple program with few activities and we have construction activities and then elevator installation. And you can see as we discussed before that all the construction activities are assigned to the cost and not the elevator installation. So, an uh, elevator installation, as we, as we, I explained before, that is a single line act, uh, item in the BOQ without any breakup. So, and in our program, we have more than uh, more activities, as mentioned in my program here. To overcome this issue, we just add a single activity as normal we are doing. We add activity and then just make it elevator installation. Any appropriate name for this activity and to be easily identified and we just make it WBS summary so that anyone can read it he can understand this is the WBS summary and we will uh, he will treat this as accordingly so and WBS ID is, I, I, I prefer to change the ID, ID also so ED, easy uh, identification so the, this WBS elevator and 010 if you have several WBS activities so it is preferable to assign a particular activity ID this uh, nomenclature for uh, this all these activities it is help, very helpful for you in the future uh, reference and uh, and uh, and uh, monitoring mm -hmm. so now we have assigned this uh, wbs id and this uh, uh, activity change the name now you can see here that it is start from 19 march to 24 march and not expanding over the whole duration of the wbs before doing this one we just go to project eps and then select this activity and then make this WBS as uh, $1 per hour. Normally it is zero. So just select, make it one. Okay, and then make sure that subtract actual from at completion and recalculate actual unit and cost when duration percentage complete changes. Both this option should be selected and resources 
for uh, with the without uh, and, and the default your price unit for equities without resources should be one so once you make this three changes come back again in the activities it is here and then I go to expense tab and add BOQ item here any uh, expense item I prefer from make it BOQ right cost any appropriate which is uh, appropriate uh, anything which is appropriate for your project you can put it for me it is BOQ cost so I just assume that this elevator cost me $25,000 okay and then after this I can run it press F9 before running just to monitor here you can just observe this column here this uh, bar chart area that this only not having an equity which overcome which uh, cover only this duration of the uh, work over WBS which is WB, WB uh, elevator installation so I just run it and once we run it Obviously, forget to make this WBS something. I think forget to select, select WBS again, and run F9 again. Now you can see. Now you see this elevator isolation is same same as this uh, summary level at the top, start and finish, and it's spending from the start to end of this uh, elevator isolation. If you go in the relationship, you will find that no relationship are assigned. So this WBS elevator uh, summary is some sort of uh, you can say level of effort, but in the level of uh, effort we assign a project commencement start to start and project finish finish to finish uh, with these activities. But this WBS summary activity don't have any re uh, relationship. It uh, takes the start of WBS and take the finish of this WBS and spend over the duration of this WBS. So now we already assigned this uh, resources and expense to this activity. Is we assume twenty five thousand, and before now we are ready to update this project. So before updating the this project, we are going to project and in the maintain uh, W baseline, we add copy of this project as a uh, as a baseline, and then after making this baseline, we assign project baseline and primary baseline. Mostly it is recommended to assign both project and primary baseline at the same same don't uh, if you assign the project baseline sometimes some values are mentioning as a uh, primary baseline so if you primary baseline you can see the current project so some dates are not matching so it is always recommended uh, that or whenever you make the primary baseline project baseline the same it should be the primary baseline this should two should be the same once you have this one now we are updating this project for example, we assume that we are going well and column are finished as scheduled, beam and slab, form work, steel and concrete casting as scheduled, block work is started but some, somehow it's a little bit delayed. And installation of bracket are started but little bit delay. Okay, and now we run, uh, we add some columns here, which is for the plan values, unvalue, actual cost, remaining cost, and budget at completion. So um, I hope we all know that unvalue management is a very important tool in project management. And in the what is and the plan value is the approved budget for a work schedule for us for a particular date, and unvalue is the approved budget for the work actually completed as per the approved budget for a specific date and actual cost is the what is the actual cost incurred so this is the difference between the unvalue and actual cost and i'm planning to make another uh, dedicated video for the all value management to explain this in details so now after updating putting the actual uh, dates and percentages let's update this for after three weeks so this 9th march 19 march so we go after three weeks and 9 april select this one and then just select uh, update this program before updating i prefer we will add the columns for the baseline dates so we put assume here open the dates session here baseline early start baseline project start and baseline project finish okay we just remove actual start actual finish and then okay we have baseline start, present finish, start finish, and this all columns required. Then we run again after three weeks. Assume we are assuming after three weeks. Nine April. 
you can see here now we are delay in bracket installation it should be 100 percent but 15 percent completed rail installation should be started and 50 percent completed but zero but overall we have plan for elevator 21 percent and 3 20 percent and our plan value is 5,266 and our earn value is 5,078,000 000. And this is our value here. So this actual cost, you know, in Primera, this actual cost incurred. So we have to put it uh, manually. So we go in the expense and we put the same as uh, earn value, this 2000. Mm -hmm. And then this uh, B slab, B main slab is 4500 actual cost. Mm -hmm. And for this uh, block work is around $150. And for this uh, elevator installation, will be somebody is uh, budgeted uh, budgeted cost or earn value is five thousand seventy eight five thousand seventy eight point four nine dollar. So after this, you can see here earn value is and actual value we assume here is same. Remaining is thirty thousand two hundred seventy one and budget at completion is forty two thousand as original budget or as original budget. In this case, you see here that uh, we assign. How we assigned our WBS activity and what uh, what steps are required? Number one, we have to change the activity type. We have to select the uh, unit hour uh, for the activity without resources, and then we have to select some uh, calculation. We have to make sure some particular changes to be made in calculation tab, and then we assign this as our baseline, and then update as normal. So I hope it is helpful for you, and it will be helpful for you in the future for your projects and for the uh, for activities. Which, uh, which is top down uh, estimation like elevator installation, BMS installation, etc. And uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And please give a thumb up. And it will be a support and, uh, and encourage for me to make uh, more videos, uh, good videos for you. Uh, till next time, thank you for your very much for your time. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.